Hello, welcome to My Fitness. My name is Coach John. This is Coach Ebon. We're, we're here in Cebu at Stay Fit, and today we're gonna put you through a CrossFit slash HIT workout. We're gonna get a lot of various movements in today. So go ahead, let's get started. Okay, so today we're gonna utilize a jump rope, some dumbbells, and just body weight. All three of these workouts can be done regardless if you have the instruments or not. For example, if you don't have a jump rope, you can go ahead and do some jumping jacks or jumping in place. For dumbbells, we're going to do what's called a devil's press, okay? So the devil press is gonna consist of a burpee into a double dumbbell snatch. If you don't have that, you can do a regular burpee down here, back up into a jump, okay? And that will substitute if you don't have weights. And then go ahead and we'll introduce a hollow rock. It's a very good core ab um, conditioning piece. You're gonna stay hollow, kind of like a rocking chair or a boat. And you're gonna rock, you're gonna try to get your heels and stay with that rigid motion. You have to really squeeze your core, okay? Thank you. So these three, you can use the dumbbells, the jump rope, or you can intermix however you feel, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. We're gonna start with some dynamic warm-up. We're gonna be moving through a full range of motion, warming up our glutes, hamstrings, lower back. And then we'll get into some actual, um, some static stretching on some specific things that we wanna activate and stretch before we get started with our workout today. So first we're gonna go ahead, first dynamic warm-up is going to be butt kicks. So you're just gonna jump up and get your heel touching your butt. We're gonna go ahead and hit 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Next one we're gonna go, we're gonna go and do some toe touches from a standing position. You're just gonna reach up, get a little height, switch, step back, switch. Just moving through a full dynamic, full range of motion. We're gonna hit two more. Usually I do these walking, so it might look a little uncoordinated right now. And one more. Good. And that really got a good stretch through the hamstring and in a, in a full range of motion, okay? From there, we're gonna hit some toe touches. So we're gonna step forward. Go ahead and face the side. Face me, there we go. And we're gonna reach down, bring our toe up and get in a full stretch through here. More of a static stretch. Bring it up as we come up. We're gonna squeeze our glutes and squeeze our lower back as we stand. Really activating, warming up those muscles. So we're coming up. All right, we're gonna do eight of these, each leg. All right, eight, there we go. Squeeze, squeeze. Four more, squeeze. Three more, squeeze. Two more, squeeze, and one. Relax, all right. Moving on to the next one, we're gonna stretch out our hip flexor, psoas muscle, and our front quad, and our ankle and calf, okay? So I'm gonna turn sideways for this one. You go ahead and face, okay? So we're gonna step back. We're gonna get a lot of weight back on that back calf, getting our hip forward, okay? So we wanna get us our, our upright chest, and that's gonna really stretch this, this psoas muscle, okay? From here, we're gonna stretch, one, two, and then come up. If you need to brace, you can go ahead and brace. We're gonna grab and really get a quad stretch in there. Bam, put it down, step back, hip forward, one, two. Grab that leg, quad stretch, one, two. We're gonna hit four more of these. So we're stepping back. One, two, stretching up. One, two, stepping back. One, two, stepping up. One, two, two more. Back, stretch, up. Stretch, she's a lot more coordinated than me. Back stretch, and up, stretch, good. All right, so the, we've moved through a full range of motion. We got the heart rate a little bit going, so let's go and get some, some upper, um, upper back, some arm stretches and mobility before we get started, okay? So we're going to get down on all fours. She's gonna face me. I'm gonna be here. We're gonna, again, activate our glutes and get our hips warmed up. So from here, you're on all fours, keeping a neutral spine here. Looking down though, you don't wanna look up because as soon as you look up, you kinda of arch your back. So looking down at the ground, we're gonna raise our foot, trying to get our foot to the sky. The bottom of our foot, keeping our knees bent. We're gonna do five of these. Knees bent at a 90 degree angle, squeezing our glutes. And one more. Good, now we're gonna go out to the side. 
bringing it up, opening up that hip. Again, working through that range of motion on that hip flexor. There we go, and one more. Good, Let's switch over to the other side, same concept. 90 degree angle, the bottom of your foot facing up. Three, two, one, and out to the side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, okay. So from there, we got the hips kind of warmed up, moved them through some ranges. Now we're gonna hit the lower back and up through the lats, a little bit of shoulder, up through your scapula, okay? So your hands are gonna be out in front of you. You're gonna be all fours. I want you to sit back and push. Really push, get that butt back. Now from here, we're fully stretched. I wanna get the head down. Really looking through here, really stretching out your lats, okay? Getting that, that, that's pulling your spine a little bit. Now, Yvonne's gonna go ahead and reach over to the left with both hands in the position, both hands, and that's really gonna stretch the right hand side. The right lat here. She's gonna hold for three more seconds. Switch over to the right side. Good. And again, that's hitting the left lat. Kind of stretching all this out here for three, two, one, relax. Okay. So we got the back, we got the hips. Now we're gonna get some of the stuff along, along our scapula, lower spine area. And we're gonna do, we call them dog pointers. They have various names. So we're gonna come out and hold. Our legs are gonna go straight, squeezing our glutes really tight through the lower back and getting that shoulder. One, 1,002, 1,003, and we're switching. Up, one, 1,002, 1, 1,003, and we're switching. She's gonna continue to do that pace. So what we're doing now is we're activating these, we're getting that mind-muscle connection so that when we get into our movements, you have to warm up not only your muscles, but your brain controlling those muscles. And that's kind of what we're doing now. This is a lot of these little muscles we don't use. We sit in the computer, we don't use them a lot. So we're firing those up, getting those started, so that when we get into our workout, our brain and muscles are working together so you, you're safe doing proper movements. And one more. And relax. Okay, we're good there. From here, we're gonna get into a full squat, okay? Now this is what I found coaching all over the world. Coaching uh, Westerners, some you know, football players, this was a very difficult thing for me to coach. But as I traveled here in Korea and the Philippines, things of that nature, it's a natural position. It makes it very easy for me to coach because the flexibility is, is amazing here compared to Europe where I was in Germany or the US. So Ebon's gonna go ahead and squat down, okay? Full depth squat. You wanna focus on getting your knees out to give your pelvic room to go straight down. This allows her to have an upright chest because what we don't want, if you're unflexible in the ankles, you're gonna sit and lean forward, right? We don't want you leaning forward, we want you back on your ankles, back on your heels, so that's why we're gonna force our knees out. Good, her weight is on her heels, her chest is upright, perfect position. So if she has weight, the weight's on her center of gravity, okay? Now what she's gonna do is go ahead and give me five good slow air squats, good. Again, just warming up the knees, stretching out the ankles, okay? And two more, two. Okay, the last one that we're gonna do, she's gonna go ahead and do some front lunges and again, this is mainly focusing on the patella area of the knee, getting that all warmed up. We're gonna do uh, three lunges each leg. So front lunge, coming back, really extending your knees over your toe, stretching everything out. We got two more. And good, okay. So that's a good warm up, a good full body. We got everything dynamically stretched, static stretched, and we did some of the movements. So from here, we're gonna move on. We're gonna demonstrate the movements, show you how you can scale it if you don't have the equipment or you don't have quite the ability. And we're gonna explain the workout and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our workout. We got our warm up. We're gonna introduce the movements step by step so you guys are very comfortable when you do them. Like I said, we do have some instruments here that we're gonna use, but we're gonna explain how you can do the workout without needing any of, this, any of these, uh, these toys, we call them, okay? So first, we're gonna start with a jump rope. We're gonna do, utilize what's called a double under, something we use a lot here um, at MyFitness because it really spikes the heart rate. Within 30 seconds, you can really get that heart rate up, but you don't need to be strong. You just gotta be a little coordinated, and that's something you can train over time. 
So uh, Coach Ebon here is going to go ahead and demonstrate what a double under is. It's like a normal jump rope, but the rope passes under your feet twice. So therefore, you have to you have to explode that much more, causes that much more energy, causes that heart rate to spike. You got to get a real good turnover with that double under. Okay. So she's go ahead and knock these out. You hear that whip of that a whip of that that jump rope? That's the speed you got to generate. Look how high she's jumping, way higher than a normal um, jump rope, which causes you that power output. But that's the advanced level. Now we're gonna go into a normal jump rope with a lot you are familiar with, okay? It's a lot slower, a lot less height, which needs a lot less power, a lot less heart rate spike. Okay, if you don't have a jump rope or you're not very good at this, you can practice this, uh, you know, away from your workout. There's uh, something we do to train the double under and we get the same height in the bounce, so it, it, it requires the same amount of energy. And then we tap our sides and that gets the timing of that turnover with that jump rope. So Coach Ebon's gonna give me good five good double taps, we call them, ready? You notice the height, really high, and she's not jumping, she's bouncing. And that's very important, go ahead and rest. So what it is, when you're doing this, you don't have time to jump like a basketball player, really. You gotta really use your Achilles and your calf and you have to bounce, right? Bounce off of that. As Soon as you start bending your knees or bringing your knees back, it takes too long and you can't get the cycle rate. So it's very important when you're developing this movement, is to bounce off your calves and not bend and jump. Again, we're gonna show that one more time. Watch how she's bouncing. She gets a little recoil on her hips, but it's not like she's squatting and jumping. It's a really fast bounce, 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 tap, tap, bounce, tap, tap. Ready? Go. Bounce, tap, tap, bounce, tap, tap, bounce, tap, tap. Perfect rest. And that's something you're gonna have to learn if you wanna develop the double unders, but it just takes practice and timing, okay? All right, so that's the first part. If you don't have, um, if you don't have a jump rope, you can do the double tap, or you can do a simple jumping jack or a run in place. Anything that's gonna spike your heart rate for 40 seconds, okay? So you choose what you need and what you're good at. From there, we're gonna move on to a, a movement we call the devil's press. So a devil's press is a burpee with a dumbbell into a double dumbbell snatch, okay? So Coach Ebon is gonna go and show you what a burpee is first. So a burpee is chest down, legs in, or jumping up, coming up. All right, and a jump. All right, so we, it's a little bit of an advanced movement because we're gonna add a dumbbell and we're gonna add a double dumbbell snatch to that, okay? So she can go ahead and grab the dumbbell. She's gonna do a burpee, and now she's gonna double snatch overhead. All right, back down burpee, and double snatch overhead. Really utilize her hips, okay? She's gonna keep doing this. Now, it's a hip thrust. She's really gonna force her hips. She's not using her lower back, okay? She's getting squeezing the glutes, getting those hips forward so it's not a pull with the lower back, it's more of a push with the hips that's gonna accelerate those dumbbells forward, okay? And that's very important because your lower back is weak and you don't wanna injure that. So you really wanna focus, especially at this point, right here. See that position? You wanna get your knees under you so that you can utilize your large muscles and the focal point isn't on that lower lumbar spine. That's where we get a lot of those injuries. So every rep, I want you to reset at that position before you come overhead, okay? If you don't have um, some dumbbells, you can usually use a bottle of water. You know, get a bottle of water, fill it. We'll start with that. Use those. And then move it, fill it with sand. It gets a little heavier and then, you know, go get, eventually get you some dumbbells. But if you don't have a dumbbell, like I said, you can go ahead and just do a burpee with a jump. Again, burpee, jump. Same movement, but no, no bar, dumbbell required. Our third movement, so we hit our heart rate with the double unders. This is more of a core to extremity where you're really using large muscle groups going from your core outwards. Now we're gonna focus on all just core, okay? So we got a heart, high heart rate, a large muscle group, and now we're gonna isolate it to just the core. So the hollow rock I explained before, you're gonna get that U motion and you're gonna go heels rocking like a rocking chair. You really have to squeeze your core to keep this position, right? What I, don't, what I don't want to have happen is that my legs come way up and I use that for momentum. No, I'm holding that same angle and I'm rowing, all right? Go ahead and relax. It's very, like, you'll, you'll really feel that burn. It's like a plank hold, but you have to move and still hold a plank hold upside down, right? So we call it a hollow rock because you're in a hollow position, it's like a rocking chair and you're shifting your weight. It's gonna take a little while a lot of you guys are gonna get stuck on your butt, right? Because we got big butts and it's hard to get over. You just gotta get that good curvature, like around like a boat and just get it to rock. And it takes a little time. If for some reason you have a, you have a hard time 
you, utilizing that and, and doing it properly, we'll go ahead and show you a V up. So V up is like a sit up where you're just coming up folding like a V, right? And then again, we're still, we're just squeezing our core is all we're doing. Um, and it's, it doesn't take as much coordination. Again, we really want to get our upper body up. A lot of people will bring their feet, go ahead and bring your feet way up. They'll bring their feet way up and they won't even, they won't get their shoulder blades off the ground. Here we want to get all this lower part off the ground so that we're really contracting our core, okay? So good, rest. Okay, so from there, you, you, see all, you saw the three workouts, the scaled. Don't worry, don't, utilize, don't worry about the weights. If you do have weights, go start out very light, okay? Here at My Fitness and Stay Fit, we want to focus on consistency of good movement before we add intensity and weight. It's always important, okay? We want to do this lifestyle of fitness till we're 60, 70, 80, right? We don't want to come in here when we're 20 and mess something up so that it limits our ability to do that. So we have the rest of our life to stay fit. So let's go ahead and start slow, start right, proper movement, proper intensity, and then we start adding the weights once we become more proficient at these movements, okay? So there we go, there's our warm up. We're gonna get, go ahead and get ready to get started. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with, the, with today's workout. We're gonna um, explain real quick what our scheme is for sets and reps and, and time frame, okay? So something we utilize a lot is called an EMOM, E-M-O-M, which means every minute on the minute, right? So you're gonna do a certain amount of work during that minute and then you're gonna rest with what, what time's left over. Today we're gonna do what's called a 40-20. So you're gonna have reps to do but at 40 seconds, if you haven't finished those reps, I want you to go ahead and stop. So I want you to get that 20 seconds of rest so that you're ready for that next, work, the next um, exercise, okay? So, if you, but if you finish at 30 seconds, you just get an extra 10 seconds to rest, okay? For example, we're gonna, uh, if you're doing single unders, you're gonna do 50 in that 40 seconds. If you're doing double unders, you're gonna do 30, okay? So you're doing your 30 double unders, I finish at 30 seconds. I can now sit down and rest until the next top of that next minute, okay? Now if you're only on 20 double unders because you made some mistake and that 40 second mark hits, go ahead and stop. We'll pick it up in the next round, okay? Then you rest that 20 seconds and from there you get ready to move on to the next exercise. So we're doing uh, 30 double unders, 50 singles. On the devil's presses, same concept but with 10 reps, all right? If you get to eight reps and you gotta take a break and that 40 seconds hits, Go ahead and stop. Get a good 20 seconds rest in, and then we'll move on to the next exercise, which is the hollow rocks, which again is 10 reps. If you finish in 30 seconds, you just get an extra 10 seconds, or if you finish in 20 seconds, okay? So I want you to work up until you're finished with the reps, which are for single unders, it's 30, 10, or double unders, I'm sorry, it's 30 double unders, 10, 10. And if you're doing single unders, it's 50 single unders, 10, 10. And you have 40 seconds to get through that. If you, if you don't get through it in 40 seconds, it's okay. We'll get them on the next round. But I want that good 20 seconds so you can keep good form, keep good energy on the next move. I don't want you being exhausted going into a new movement and not be able to recover and hit that with the best you can, okay? So that's what we're gonna work out today. We're gonna get ready, we're gonna get set up, and Ebon's gonna one, go through one round to really show you the intensity and how, how it's working out and that work-rest cycle that we're trying to get to. So from there, we'll go ahead and get everything set up. All right, here we go. We had to go ahead and remove our carpet. We're having some issues with the drag on the rope and the double under. It was kind of messing up the timing. So we usually don't, don't use the carpet. So we went ahead and pulled that back. So you might see a little bit difference in the scenery. So we got our dynamic stretching and warm up, our static stretching. We explained the movements. We're gonna use a EMOM style with that 40-20 work to rest ratio. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Coach Ebon's gonna hit each one. She's gonna do her 30 double unders, her 10 doubles press, and her 10 hollow rocks, okay? And we're gonna kind of show the example of working till 40 seconds and then resting, or getting through your amount you're required and resting, okay? So here we go in three, two, one, hit it. She's getting that nice bounce, that nice turnover. This movement is all about rhythm. Once you figure out the rhythm and the timing, it just comes. It clicks once you do it, you get it. And again, a way you can practice is that jump and double tap. She's already done, so now we still have some time waiting. So now she rests, right? She was able to get done. Now we're getting a rest. If you didn't finish, use this time to rest, and then we're gonna get started on our devil's press. 
for either 40 seconds or 10 reps. So we're about to get started, get loosened up. Let's get excited. We're going to do this total for five rounds, right? That's about a 15 minute total workout with one minute each rep. Our exercise is three exercises, five rounds at 15 minutes. Here we go. We're starting five, four, three, two, one. And our 40 seconds starts. Coach Yvonne's a very good athlete. She's going to make this look very easy. She's going to go unbroken. So she's probably going to get done in somewhere around 25 to 30 seconds. So she's going to get an extra about 10 seconds to rest, okay? Again, every starting point at the end of this burpee, she's got that good back angle, really um, locking down that lower back to prevent that injury and exploding from the hips up to overhead. This is going to cause, a, here we go. She's almost done at five, four, three, two, one. How many did you get? Eight. So she got eight, right? So maybe that's a little too many. We gotta cut that back. Let's go for six per 40 seconds, right? So now, now she's still got a 20 second rest, okay? So next round, we're gonna do six or wherever you wanna try to stick to, okay? We might have over projected that a little bit for that 40 seconds, but now we're gonna go ahead and get that hollow rock. We're gonna try to hit 10 good ones in five, four, three, two, one. Next minute, we got 40 seconds. Again, she's, she's engaging that core. She's going from hills, rocking that boat. Well, how many are you at? Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. 10, good. Now she can go ahead and rest. You have the rest of this minute to rest. And then we're gonna start back over with them double unders. We're gonna hit either our 50 singles, our 30 double unders in that 40 second period. And we're gonna do that for five rounds. If you need to, Take away a few reps. We understand we're all in different shape and we're stopping in five, four, three, two, and rest. And that's one round. I'm proud of you guys. Let's keep that up. After our rest, let's hit four more rounds of this. That should take you 15 minutes. Adjust to your personal needs. If you're not quite in shape and you're getting there, we'll use less time and less weights, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. Let's hit it hard. And that's round one. All right, outstanding workout, everybody. Effort was amazing. You can adjust this three rounds, five rounds, whatever you need to according to your fitness level. So if you want more of this and you want to get some live coaching, we are open and you can come here and join us at. We're located here in Corner Friendship Street in Peace Valley La Hoop. Or you can follow us on Facebook at the Stay Fit Boxy Boo or on Instagram, we have Stay Fit Boxy Boo. And thank you for joining us and go ahead and turn and tune in again. This is Coach John with Coach Yvonne. And thank you for watching us here on My Fitness. Thank you, everyone.